Hey guys, it's Christian here from Solitech Solutions. In this week's video, I'm going to show you how to create your own symbol in SolidWorks Electrical. So let's go ahead and go to the symbol manager up here on your command tab. And as you can see, the symbol manager already has a lot of predefined symbols in here. Um, so those symbols come straight out of the box with SolidWorks Electrical. We can filter on library, so here in Australia we might want to filter on the 617 standard. And also over here the list is still pretty big. However, it might happen that you got into a situation where you need to create your own symbol. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that. There are three ways of doing or of going about creating a new symbol. We can immediately go ahead and click new over here. We can right click on an existing symbol and copy and paste that to actually create a copy of that symbol and edit the symbol from there. Or we can import a DWG file. I will show you how to import a DWG file in the next week's video. For now, I will create a symbol from scratch. So we're going to click new. Symbol properties uh, come up and we will first start by giving it a unique name. I'll add my initials in the back of it, so it's, it's a unique name. Now we also need to add a, a root mark, which is going to be HL, and a description as well. Usually the description is used to show the actual symbol in the symbol manager. Here we go. Okay, always important to assign it to a library for um, so that we can easily find it. So I will put that to the 617 library and it's going to be metric and the classification is already correct. So it's under signaling and alarm. Okay, as soon as I click OK, you can actually see it's already been placed over here and it's empty because it has no um, geometry created yet. We can also go back if you can't find your, your actual light, you can actually go to the classification and filter or just filter here your, the name, my initials for the, in this case, and we can see my light over here. Now double click and we are actually in the, um, in the drawing environment. So we first start off by drawing the actual outline of the symbol. Before I do that, I always like to set up the snap and the grid. So use my snap spacing 2.5 mil. This will be set to five millimeters and I will turn both snap and grid on. Now we can start creating our symbol anywhere we want. So I'm just gonna start creating it somewhere here in the middle of the sheet. And I will start off by creating a circle. So left click to place that and let's add a radius of 2.5. Now let's add some lines. Maybe that's going to be 2.5 as well. And if I want to reuse my um, line again, I can actually simply hit Ctrl R and that will um, enable the line tool again. There we go. So 2.5 again. And let's do that two more times. Just a horizontal line like so. And there we go. Now I still need to rotate this, so I will select both the lines that I created on the inside. Hit rotation, I'm going to select the center point and type in 45 degrees. Now I've pretty much got our light created over here. Now once the um, geometry is finished, the next thing that you need to do is you need to go to the edit symbol tab up here. And we need to define a new circuit. So every symbol has um, an amount of X amount of circuits and connection points. Now this one here is just one single circuit. So I'm going to click new circuit. And I'm going to type, I'm going to say here that it's a signaling alarm. Now you can also click here on more circuits and then you've got the whole list of circuits that you can select. Now you might wonder why you want to, why do we need to select a circuit? Um, SolidWorks Electrical is actually going to do a cross-reference check um, between the circuits defined in the actual symbol and the circuits that belong to the part that you're going to associate with that symbol. If they match, it will be okay. If they don't match, SolidWorks Electrical will actually warn you and say that the circuits are of two different types. 
just as a protection mechanism, I guess. Just simply click OK, and we've got my circuit here defined. Now we need to pre-select the circuit, and the next step that we're going to do is add connection points to the top and the bottom of our um, lines. So the points where the symbol connect to the actual wire. So pre-select it, connection point, and I can simply place that. My right mouse button allows me to rotate the connection point. So I'm going to rotate that and place that over here. I'm going to pre-select it again, left click connection point, hit my right mouse button twice to rotate and simply place that. Now the last thing that we need to do to finish off this symbol is to add attributes. It's pretty much finished already, but if you want to make the symbol intelligent, we want to map certain data or attributes to this symbol. So let's go ahead and select attributes insertion. And what I will do is I will select the tag, for instance, which is an important one because that will um, enable us to locate the actual symbol. Now, a couple of other things that we can place. As you can see, there is a lot of data here that we can. Uh, manufacturing data might also be an idea. So let's add power and um, maybe color. And we can also add some user data. Maybe those two here. So if you place a symbol, we can add some custom data as well. Now, once we've done that, I'm going to click on OK. And I have the option to insert my symbol. Now, note here on the left or on the left hand side, I can spacing, I can space the columns, I can space the rows. If I scroll down a bit, I can also say over here that, for instance, my manufacturing data needs to be up a couple of uh, bits, and you can see that it actually moves them around. So I'm just going to place it over here, and we're pretty much done. Now, of course, if you double click any symbol we, or any text, we can change the height, we can change the color, and we can rotate that, etc. Um, I'm not going to go in that much detail in this uh, video. I'm just go ahead and save this. So hit the save button over here and close this off. Now let's go to my project. Um, I've already defined an electrical schematic here and there is already a 24 volts line on it. So let's go to schematic and place a symbol. I'm going to click off that symbol and look for my um, light that I've made. We can look for things or we can just use the classification to locate it. So we've placed it on a signaling and alarm and mine should be there. Here we go. As you can see, and I was already in the one in there. Now I'm going to hit select and um, one thing I did forget is you can see my symbol there on the right of my screen. I will show you how to fix that up as well. So we'll just quickly hit escape here to ignore that command, go back to the library, symbols manager, double click my symbol, left click on added symbol up the top, left click on insertion point, select the middle of your symbol, don't forget to save once we've done this, so hit the save button, go back to my electrical schematic, Insert my symbol, so go to schematic, insert a symbol. My symbol is still active and I can now simply select that. Now HL was the root we defined, which is correct. Number one, also correct. Uh, we can set up the color. We can set up the voltage or specify that if we want to. Here we go. And now as soon as I click on OK, we can see over here that our data has gone through.